Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about which is uh, something which is very crucial and important for any automation developer because is it just important to build an automation with a lot of activities in it and just make sure that it works? No. As per me, I believe it's very much important to build a solution very smartly with minimum number of activities and a lot of coding uh, which makes sense and which is reliable. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can smartly develop a solution without a lot of activities. And this video goes into Smart Hacks playlist. So if you're watching my channel for the first time, this is Harika and I do videos on UI path right from the basics still to the advanced concepts do check out the videos on my channel and if you like the content please 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 hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so without any ado let's get into the video and see how you can smartly implement certain things in our automation developments okay so now firstly i will just uh, run the present workflow and i'll explain you what's the scenario that we are going to see in this video so let's debug this file So this uh, is basically a use case wherein you have to enter your class to find the color code of your dress. So this is for a school wherein um, they have to wear a certain kind of color, certain color dress on for such an event. Okay, so which color, which class you are from? So I am going to enter that I am from third class and just say OK. And this automation will run through the process and it will tell me what color dress I have to wear for the event. As you are from class three, you should wear orange color code dress for the event. OK, I say OK. So if you see here in this whole automation, what I have done is. I just have a predefined uh, set. OK, let me show you. Okay, this is my set. Uh, yeah, so based on the class, green, blue, orange, yellow, white and purple till sixth class, I just based uh, created an input dialog where I'm taking the input from the user uh, from um, multiple choice. So once after that's done, I am asked, uh, I am, uh, you know, training my robot with the conditions if they if uh, i'm from class one i'm gonna assign this green color to a certain variable if not the blue color otherwise if it's from the class three orange color just the same thing that's there on the notepad class four yellow color class five white color class six purple color so this is the whole thing that i have done this is a lot of code isn't it because let's say if you have uh, more than 10 conditions or more, like uh, 50 conditions or something of that sort. Don't you think how big, how many activities are you going to add it here, right? You know, you all know the if else, if else block, else if block and all, right? So that's going to become a, you know, huge number of activities, right? So how you can actually code it in the VB script. So I will just show you um, the whole workflow. I'm going to recreate by using uh, if you know the tertiary operator, I'm going to talk about that also and I'll tell you the syntax of it also. So there's something called as ternary operator that how we can use it in VB.net. Okay, so I will show you everything right from the scratch and we will recreate the whole workflow here. Okay, so I have the workflow already. Let me just show you. So if you see, this is my workflow. Just the same thing, the input dialog and the message box, message box, the whole, uh, you know, uh, nested if else, whatever we have taken in the other part, I just replaced it with a single assign activity, right? How smartly we have just changed, we have transformed. So this will come in use a lot when there is a huge uh, set of things that you are going to use when in, in case of nested if else. So I will teach you how you can do this and how you can learn it. You can just keep it handy and you can use it anywhere in your workflows and it will definitely be a smart way of automation. Okay, so let's do it. Let's take a sequence and just say, okay, ternary VB script. Okay. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, uh, just take uh, the same thing, the input dialog. Okay, I'm not going to change anything in the input dialog. So what I have given, I'll show you. Okay, so I just gave enter your class 
to find the color code of your dress. Okay. Enter class to find the color code of your dress and the label which class you are from. And I have taken multiple choice and I have given the input options. So when you are giving input options, make sure that you give in this format. Because I was very confused with this format because initially I just gave us an array of string and then I it, it just throw me an exception and then I gave us a collection and then also it throwed an exception. Just just have an eye on how you are giving this input, okay? Because it's very confusing and the documentation was also not clear on this. Make sure that you give it in this format only then it's gonna uh, accept and not throwing any error, okay? So once after you give the input options and this is something where the uh, input that is entered by the user will be taken into. Okay. This is the result. Okay. Hmm. In class, I have taken it as an integer. So I haven't declared in this particular sequence. So that's why it's throwing an error. Just declare it and make sure it's an integer. Okay. Integer. Done. Right. And the main crucial part comes here. Assign activity. So this plays the whole main role in this particular thing. Okay. So I'm going to declare str color. Okay. So this is the uh, variable that holds the color code. So now firstly, let me just uh, give you an idea about what is this ternary operator. Okay. Um. Where is my notepad? Okay. So firstly, you have to remember whenever there's a condition. Okay. So here we are giving three parts. Okay. Condition in that particular if. Okay. If. So this is like a basic if else only. If the condition is true. This is the condition, right? If the condition is true, uh, we are going to have the if. Uh, then block correct otherwise we are going to execute else block in the same way but instead of those blocks we are just using it this way we have condition and there's something called as true and the other one is false okay so this is just the small thing that we are going to do so how i'm going to write this condition i'll show you here Just observe clearly. So first I am taking if. Okay. And here my condition should come. Right. What is the condition? <laughs> In class. If this value is 1. If the, if the person is from first class. What he has to wear. Here the true value. Okay. What is the true value? Green color. Right. Green color. Otherwise. What is the next thing that I have? I am going to check. Just like how we have done if else, if else, else if and all. In the same way. I am going to check if the person uh, is from second class. Okay. So I am going to check if int class is equals to 2. If the person is from second class, what I am going to check? Blue. He has to wear blue color. Okay. Don't get confused here. Right, this is the condition and this is the true value. And after that, I am going to check what is, what will be the next thing that I am going to check if the person is from second class. And then he has, if it's if it is true if he is from second class he has to wear blue color. Otherwise, again I am going to check if the person is from third class. So what he has to wear. Orange color. Right? Right? And then, if the person, otherwise, uh, I am going to check if the person is from fourth class, he has to wear yellow color. And finally, again, I am checking. If the person is from fifth class, I am going to check the color, what color he is to wear, white color. 
and the final one which is the six okay so he has to wear purple okay done that's it so here what i'm going to check is i will show you it's very clearly i will make you understand so here you see uh let me write in the notepad okay i told you this is the condition this is the true and this is the false right so the same thing what i've done if condition one is true then i'm going to assign true okay output will be true otherwise false and if i have one more condition instead of false i am going to check it here okay what i am going to do here if the condition 2 is true i am going to write true otherwise it is going to be false okay so this is how we have to actually write so in the same way here just uh, replicate the one that we have gone through over here this is the first condition right so if it is true the person is going to wear green otherwise i am checking this okay in this case also if it is failing i am checking this 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 whole thing whatever is coming is a failed scenario of the second condition this is a failed scenario of the third condition this is a failed scenario of fourth Okay, this is the failed scenario of fifth. So, here we have to understand one thing clearly. What will be the failed scenario of fifth? That means person is not from the fifth class. And we are checking everything. This all things were failed. So, we are checking the fifth class. In the same way, if the person is not from any of these classes, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, obviously he is from sixth class because we have multiple choice option. Right? So, he is from sixth class so in that case we don't have to check this condition actually just keep it over here that's it and then you have to close all the braces how many braces are there one two three four five one two three four five six so just close this right is this clear i'll explain you one more time so, this is the first condition. If this is true, then green. Otherwise, we are checking the second condition. That means, person is not from the first class. So if this is true, blue. Otherwise, we, have, we are going for checking the second, third condition. That means, person is not from first and the second. Like that, we are checking fourth. When we are checking fourth, that means, he is not from either of one, two, three. And then fifth. That means, he is not from one, two, three and four. If the person is uh, not from four, five also, then there's no other option that he's from any other class because there are only multiple choices. So that's why I have given purple alone, right? Let's say if there is not multiple choice, but something else, okay, uh, like a open text, uh, you can just uh, answer like maybe 10 also, but in your school, there are only till sixth class. So in that case, what you can do, you can just keep if int of class is equals to 6 and just say for 6th class it should be purple right so purple and if the if the person is not from any of the 6 classes then you can just mention if that is a failed scenario just say failed scenario or out of uh, box or something like that or you can just mention um, class is not in school range Something like that you can just mention and you can just uh, give. Okay, so let's, uh, we, we can just check this scenario as well. Okay. Uh, firstly, okay, as I have written, we can just check this scenario as well. Let me uh, delete this whole thing. Right. Um, I will to tell you how we can check the other scenario as well. But as of now, we will go for this. Okay. And okay, the error is gone. Let's take the message box from here because it's the same text. Right. Mm. Okay. So after this, I will show you the other scenario as well, um, which will be very much clear. So just debug this.
so we have written the we haven't written the condition for sixth class but we have mentioned it's a purple in the end right so i told you if the person is from fifth class sixth class means it has by the time it has come to check the sixth all other previous conditions must be failed so now i will give six only and it should come purple then it's right perfect as you are from class six you should wear purple color code dress okay so now what i'm going to do instead of this um, message multiple choice i will uh, go to text box okay I'll go to text box and here we have mentioned condition only till sixth class. So now I will uh, change the condition. Let's say if the person gives something out of box, if int class is equal to six, okay. Then it is purple. Apart from that, if the person mentions something, then uh, class is out of range okay um think one more place right so just say okay and now i will give something else in the class apart from sixth like maybe eighth something like that i'll give then we will see what's gonna come okay i will give here eight c okay this is customized text so this is uh, classes out of range okay so this is how you can actually use i believe this particular uh, thing is understandable it will be a little bit uh, confusing in the beginning but the whole idea is just give the condition in the true just give the true option uh, in the false just give the false condition so if you have something to check in if the condition is true you can just mention over here okay so this is how you can do this is very simple and it's the smartest way of doing instead of just pushing out all the activities into your workflow this will make your code look so clean and small and also it works so efficiently so if you have any doubts on this do let me know in the comments i'll definitely reach out to you and clear your doubts and thank you so much for watching i'll put up more such videos uh, on my channel do not miss any of them please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell and that gives me a lot of motivation thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy like watching this video please give a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video bye bye